Guys, we all have this issue. We're trying to thread some filament through the Bowden tube into the hot end and it doesn't work. You push it, you push it some more and you snap the filament and then what do you do? Now you have filament stuck in your Bowden tube and you have no idea what's going on. Your hot end won't push filament out and you're stuck. Guys, all of these 3D printers that I have have this issue. The Anchor Make M5 is the worst. It's terrible. Guys, we're gonna fix this problem in 30 seconds. Guys, I first want to draw your attention to this pneumatic fitting here on the top. Now, this black piece is the Bowden tube. On some printers, you might have a white Bowden tube or a blue Bowden tube. It's all dependent on the machine, but, but you've also got this pneumatic fitting and in this particular machine, you've got a black button on top. Some machines might have a white button and some machines might actually have a, uh, a little clip under the button. That clip is to prevent you from pushing the button. The reason is because if you push this button, and I'm gonna try and stay out of the camera, if you push this button and you pull up on the Bowden tube, it actually releases. Now I have filament in the machine already, I'm about to remove it, but um, guys, so that's the key to this entire process. So if you are working with a 3D printer that has a uh, little clip under it, pull the clip out. That clip is most likely gonna be blue, it might be orange, but pull the clip out depress the button and then pull up on the Bowden tube. You're not gonna break anything, uh, but that is the key. Hopefully you are at this step that I'm at now. I have kind of reverted where my machine previously was. I, of course, had filament in. I preheated my hot end and removed the filament. So hopefully I'm at the same step that you guys are at. So what I want you to do is take your filament. I have my roll up here and it, uh, the Bowden tube inlet is over here on this side of the printer. So go ahead and feed your, uh, your filament through the Bowden tube until it pops out the other side. If your filament does not pop out of the other side, then you have some sort of a clog or something between obviously this side of the Bowden tube and this side of the Bowden tube. And that is a much bigger problem than we are solving here. That might be a problem that you need to uh, solve by replacing the entire Bowden tube. Um, do a little more research on that. Uh, but once your filament does come out of this side, what I want you guys to do is cut a 45 degree angle on your filament. This way you have a nice little point. And every printer is gonna be different, but particularly on the Anchormac M5, there's a little tab up here. This little tab needs to be depressed. And then try to manually feed the filament through the hole. Now, this might take a couple attempts, and I'm gonna have to get a little bit closer. Hopefully I'm not obstructing the camera. But eventually, you will get your filament through there. You might need to cut a sharper 45 degree, or a sharper angle, maybe a little more than a 45 degree angle, and there we go. I got mine through, and I can now keep this tab depressed and continue feeding filament until it goes through the uh, nozzle into you know a melted state. And then guys, don't forget to go ahead and push your Bowden tube back into that pneumatic fitting. And if you did have a clip that was on your pneumatic fitting, make sure to replace that clip. This way uh, it, this doesn't automatically come undone and loosen your Bowden tube. All right guys, so just a quick recap. What you're trying to do is push your filament into the hot end and it's getting stuck and it's not going through. This is not an issue with you. I've been doing this for two or three years and I still have issues. This is an issue with the tolerances and the specifications on the 3D printer that you're working with. Again, this is not an issue with you and the Anchormake M5, if this is the printer you're having issues with, it's very, very picky. Like I said, guys, I have issues with it. So guys, if you have this issue where you can't get your filament to go through, uh, it should be a very easy fix. I know it's been a very difficult thing to work out and some people have spent 10 plus minutes trying to get their filament to go through. It should not take that long. Guys, if this video is helpful, it would mean the world to me for you to leave a like and a subscribe. Put some comments below, guys. That bell, it is apparently very important for us creators. I will see you guys in the next video.